Balitang ikakatuwa ng kabataan sa panayam ng PTV Sports, malugod na ibinalita ni Philippine Flag Football President Paul Le ang mga kasalukuyang developments ng liga. Isa na rito ay ang pagpasok ng sport na ito sa university level. Ano pa kaya ang mga bago sa PFFL? Alamin natin ang exclusive news sa report ni Meg Siozon. Sa pagdalaw ng PTV Sports at training session ng Philippine Flag Football League sa Sunken Garden ng UP Diliman sa Quezon City. Isang magandang balita ang isinalubong sa amin ni PFFL President Pole sa mga development ng liga. Isa na dito ay ang pagpasok ng sport na ito bilang parte ng programa sa college level. Marami tayong developments ngayon. Uh, meron at we just had our first intercollegiate tournament. Consisting of um, UP, Ateneo, La Salle, uh, New Era University. Unfortunately, sa tournament na yun, hindi nakapag-participate yung San Beda at saka UST. Pero naka-ready na yung team nila for the next intercollegiate tournament. Hindi na ikubli ang tuwa at excitement ng mga estudyante sa kanilang paglalaro ng flag football. Isa na dito si De La Salle University Manila College student Nikki Hibo. I really just like spending time with everyone, getting to know people from different universities, people of different age groups, people who are older, younger, and it's nice how we can all relate throughout this one sport. I'm really, really proud that flag football is actually spreading. I mean, not only in UP and Ateneo, but then now it's in La Salle, and then we're branching out to also the high school units, and then I've also heard grade school schools. So with that, it's a really good idea to hear that flag football is actually a growing community and that it's actually getting well more known here in the Philippines and branching out internationally like as part of the ASEAN region. Bukod sa pag-anib sa university level, marami pang mga plataporma ang sinisimulan ng aksyonan ng liga. Mandate ng PFFL, the Philippine Flag Football League's mandate, is to grow the sport in ways na makakatulong sa lahat. Uh, we do clinics, we do tournaments. And of course, grassroots nga. So kaya kami pumapasok sa mga schools ngayon dahil sila, rang, sila na ang next generation eh. Now, we, we formed it in a way na dapat club muna siya. Since wala naman akong, uh, wala naman kaming official, uh, uh, what you call this, uh, uh, a league ng college talaga like the UAP, the NCAA. So yung status niya as varsity for the students, hindi pa, wala pa doon, hindi pa mag-grant, no? So, pero yun ang habol natin. Within, the, within two years siguro, sana makita kami ng, ng UAP, eh, sana ipasok kami. We already have um, a national team in the club level. I am talking to my contemporaries now around Asia and we will try to make an Asian collegiate championship. We're hoping na if not end of the year, mid next year. Yan, yan ang habol ko. Namin, we always hold it like every two or three months dito, well, hindi dito sa UP, no? pero in Metro Manila. Ang, yes, itong September actually, meron, we, we got the bid, we won the bid to host the, the Asian Fives. No? Um, from what I heard, there are already five countries interested. They're coming. Uh, we're targeting ten, actually. Ten visitors. Taong 1996, unang ipinakilala ang disiplinang ito sa Pilipinas. Isinigawa naman ang unang organized tournament noong taong 1998. Mula sa dating maliit na pangkat, ay unti-unti nang sumisibol at nagpapakilala ang sport na ito sa bansa.